Good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome everyone to the celebration of life with Jeff Yes. Another Legion member has been called to the high command and has gone to report to the commander of us all. If everyone would stand and anybody cover on cover, I'll ask my chaplain to come up and lead us in a prayer. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Eternal God, supreme commander of all, Lord of the far-flung battle line, whom the ranks of life report to, we bow before you with reverent hearts and in sublime faith. Lead us on in death as you have led us in life. For again you have ordered Jeff Yash into the realm in the west beyond the twilight and the evening star, where beauty and valor and goodness dwell forever with the unnumbered multitude. Mindful of the service nobly done, you have called Jeff Nash to everlasting rest. You have sealed his lips with the faded blossoms of springtime and the weathered leaves of autumn. You have called our comrade to eternal peace to the land of your silent mystery. Hear now the sorrows of those who mourn. Touch our tired hearts with healing. Protect us and with your holy care. Keep clean and bright in memory the splendid flame that now has flickered out and shelter us with your compassion. Lord of all life, who lives forever, again, you have taught us the measure of our days. We are strangers with you and sojourners as our fathers were. Our days are as a shadow and there is none abiding, but you abide. Your years don't fail, you never change. A thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past and I watch in the night. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but your word endures forever, and therein is our help and our hope. You heal the broken in heart, you bind up their wounds, comfort your people in their sorrow. May there be no bitterness, no doubt of your eternal goodness. Give us to know you do not mock, mock us with this stubborn hope of life eternal. That having created and cared for us, you will not desert us to the dust. That you hold us with a love unfailing. That our dead are in your keeping and that you are able to do far more for them than we can ever ask or think. Until for us also the day breaks and the shadows flee, grant us to live so that our lives may honor the members who have gone before us. Together we may come to the city which you have prepared for those who love you and keep your commandments. For your name's sake we pray. Amen. Would everyone please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everyone, please be seated. At this time, I would like to ask anybody that wants to come up and give a story that they have about Jeff. Mother. A bit of a book. 
I am Jeff's cousin. My mother and father asked Jeff's parents to be my godparents. And so my life with their family has been an eternity and a wonderful gift that I will never forget. With just passing, it has brought us all here today. And Nancy has asked that I share these personal words with her because it is hard to talk and share these beautiful things that she wants you to hear today. So these are Nancy's words. Good afternoon. I want to tell you the story of Jeff and my first date. However, first you have to know that I am originally from Wisconsin and I am a cheesehead. I was out for the evening with a girlfriend and went to the Cake South, which is a bar that many of you are familiar with, and became one of our favorite places to go. This handsome fella came up to me, we know who that is, and said, I'm going to a cheesehead wedding. Would you like to go? I was a little so apprehensive as I didn't know this man, but talked to my girlfriend and she told me he was a good guy and to go, so I accepted. <sighs> okay. With one stipulation I had that my, I go in my own car. Since I was a teenager, I've always taken my own car with one with everyone and everything I did in case I wanted to leave or escape and in this situation not knowing this man very well. The night of the wedding we met at the keg and went on our merry way to Lehigh Acres which at the time I had never heard of. As everyone knows 31 years ago this little town was out in the boonies with no major roads which I did not know. We're here driving on these dark, desolate roads, and I got a little apprehensive thinking, where is this guy taking me? <laughs> Again, keep in mind that I did not know this man. I finally saw the lights and felt a little relief when we pulled into the Knights of Columbus parking lot. Woo, I made it. Throughout the evening, Jeff was very attentive, never left my side, and we had a really good time. My girlfriend was right. He was a good guy. The ride back to Fort Myers was much more enjoyable, I should say exciting from when you hear the story, than the ride to the Lehigh, to Lehigh to say the least. We got to 41 and needed cigarettes, so we pulled into the 7-Eleven, parked next to a couple of young girls standing by the car. Jeff got out, of course, to talk to them, and they told him they had a flat tire. He opened my car door and asked if I minded if he fixed their tire, which I thought was a nice thing to do, and, and, still, and still remember thinking that moment, this one is a keeper. He rolled up his sleeves of his white shirt, and as you all know, he either had a white shirt on or a white t-shirt, correct? Yes. And fixed the flat. We went in and washed his hands, got our cigarettes, and we went back to the keg. From that day on, we spent almost every day together. He was always kind, giving to anyone that needed help with something, and especially to me. For 30 years, he treated me with kindness, love, and respect, and still held doors open for me. In the last year when he used his cane and walker, it was my privilege to hold the doors for him. It would take me forever to tell you all the wonderful memories he gave me, so I will leave you with this. God always knows what is best for us, and he sent me my keeper. And I believe Jeff felt the same. She has one little other story she wanted to share. He did not only give while he was here, but he also gave after his passing. Jeff had himself placed on a list for organ donation, where he donated, donated both his corneas. Only one day after his passing, the Lions Eye Rep called from the Eye Bank and called and stated, with his gift of his corneas, then two people were given sight. Nancy was so very proud and most generous of this most generous and kind heart. So with this, I want to say may God bless you and all, 
May God bless all of you, and thank you for sharing this day with us. Thank you, Penny. Does anybody else want to share a story that they have with Jeff? I can say one thing I know. I've been the post commander here 14 years, and I've known Jeff for 14 years. Jeff wasn't a veteran, but Jeff did more for veterans than some veterans. The love that he had for people itself goes beyond reasoning, because the way this man cared for people and the love he had for people it's something you can't buy in a store. You can't buy that type of friendship below. So Jeff was an amazing man and still is in my eyes. Does anybody else have anything they want to say? This moment is sacred with almost viable, visible presence of the one who has gone before. We come to honor the memory of one who offered life and service for God who has now enrolled in the Great Spirit Army, whose foot, who footballs cause no sound. But in our memories, their souls go marching on. Proudly, we remember their service in time. Because of them, our lives are free. Because of them, our nation lives. Because of them, the world is blessed. May the ceremonies of today deepen our reverence for our honored comrades and friends. Let us not enshroud their memory with the thoughts of sorrow, tears, or words of sympathy cannot bring back the comfort of those loving hands or the music of voice still. The solemn pride of that service is there and for the living to remember. And friends, let us here pledge ourselves anew to unite service to consecrate and sacred by our comradeship, by our devotion of mutual helpfulness in the protection of those left behind. We realize how futile our mere words to express our deep and abiding sympathy in your loss. May you feel our comrade is at rest and in endless peace. Generation after generation, all the shadowy people of the past have lived as we lived, perplexed and mystified by death. They have gone into the great beyond with hearts filled and wistful longing as all must go. Surely, there is an afterlife for all who have been loyal and true, a life to which light and peace shall come, where the burden shall be lifted and the heartaches of us shall cease, where the loved ones and hopes and fulfillment that escapes us shall be given to us to be ours forever. At this time, I would ask our chaplain to come back up and give a closing prayer. Yes. Not at all, sir. Absolutely. My name's Bill Bethay. I am from the infamous Katie South. Katie South. These all these folks over here been customers. That's it's over 23 years ago now. How long it's been? I still remember Jeff. We all remember Jeff. Played dart, shot, pool. They can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me now? Better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I owned the Gag South back through the 80s and the 90s. These are our customers right here, uh, old people here. Sid's old too, got a big beard. All right. Jeff was a regular, of course. Uh, shot, shot pool, played darts, there every day. Most of these people were every single day after work. Everybody had a good time, we partied together, we had picnics, went to the beach, things we've all remembered really hard to believe how long ago it was. But everybody remember Jeff Bloom, didn't they? Yes. Fine guy. Fine guy. A pool player. There at darts. Got lucky with Nancy. Had a pretty good life. It's uh, sad right now. But we look back 27 years ago, it was mighty nice. We had a good time. Thank you. Everyone, please uncover. O oh God, who heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, 
look in the tender pity and compassion upon thy servants whose joy has been turned into mourning. Leave them not comfortless, but grant them they may be drawn closer to thee and to one another by their common sorrow. Sorry about that. Fill their souls with light and comfort of thy presence. Grant unto them such a vision of that life wherein all mysteries shall be revealed and all tears shall be wiped away, that they may be able to endure. So dwell with them and be their God until the day break and the shadows flee away. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Would everyone please stand for our taps? This concludes the ceremony for Jeff Yass. Uh, you're welcome, we have music that Jeff liked and we're playing it. If there's anything anybody else wants to come and say, you're welcome too. Uh, Jeff's a great guy. There's a lot that's being missed, but knowing Jeff, the person that he was, he doesn't want us sitting here crying over him. He wants us to enjoy the music that he loved and be remember him as that person that he was for everybody, because he was a great guy. I have a lot of respect for him. My heart goes out to the family, Nancy, his sister, and I want to thank you guys for everyone for coming. At this time, this will conclude the celebration of life for Jeff Yass, and everyone is welcome to continue. If somebody would get me a, a glass of water, I'd like everybody to do a toast in honor of Jeff, because we got his vodka and cranberry there. <laughs> Jeff, my brother, this is for you. Tell us. Thank you. One, please be seated. We will continue with uh, the best. Thank you. when he passed away and I want to do it here. And uh, it's a little hip hip hooray tree. So on a um, little statement I always say is light foot lads, rose hip maidens. Three hip hip hooray for Jeff Yes. Hip hip, hip, hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! No, I can't. 